Hey guys, Erica with the Cake here. Today's video is going to be on watercolors, newest products, and I have a ton of them here. And I wanted to put them to the test. I actually just received these, and today I used the blue one. Um, my hair, as you can see in this video, was like a turquoise color before, and I just put it directly on. So these droplets can be added into the shampoos. They can be added into your conditioner. So think about, um, you wanna make sure it's like a white creamy conditioner, because if it was like yellow or had like an undertone, it could alter the color a little bit. You could put it in any kind of product that is like a liquid or like a cream product, and just put it in your hair. The instructions actually tell you to shampoo your hair first, and then after you shampoo it to put the drops in the conditioner, your conditioner, whatever conditioner you use daily, and depending on how many drops you put in would depend on the vibrancy of it. Um, I just did not shampoo it, I did not do anything. I literally put this straight on my hair like a beast. Like I was like squirt, squirt, squirt in my hand, put it on my hair. Um, so the blue one comes out purple when you actually do it. It's like super purple, it's actually like a little scary. You're like, my hair is purple right now. But um, when you wash it out, it is totally fine. I shampooed my hair afterwards with the watercolors in silver because it has a very like low potency compared to like the turquoise one and I just don't have the blue one at home. Plus I wanted to see exactly how the blue drops would work out. So the only thing that the silver would have done was just kind of give it more of like a sultry, sexier look, which I am not against. Um, but yeah, so I did not shampoo first. I did do a shampoo after and I didn't want to use anything that would take the color out of my hair. So I used uh, something that I knew would kind of just deposit kind of that um, grayish kind of color to my hair. So this is the outcome. So again, um, underneath this, I had the turquoise, which I have not done in weeks. I have not maintained my turquoise color. Actually, I was using a swimmer shampoo to try to get it out of my hair so I could do something fun after. So in this video, you see that's the color that I had there. It was a little like green, kind of yellowish at the time because it was like just fading out and I was trying to wash it out. I went right in with the drops. They totally stained my hands, so make sure that you use gloves. And then I left it on. I wasn't even in the shower yet. I did it outside of the shower to make sure I got everything saturated. And then when I went in the shower, I shampooed with the watercolor shampoo in silver. One quick wash just to get the product out of my hair. Um, and then I just proceeded with my usual conditioner. I didn't bring a, a bowl in to mix or anything like that. So I just did it all outside of the shower. But that is up to you. It is a super versatile product, which is awesome. So like I said, you could put it in with the watercolor shampoos. You could put it in with a regular shampoo if you want. Um, I would just mix that up because you want to make sure it's like completely mixed before you apply it because you don't want it to be patchy on your head. And, uh, or you could use it straight, or you could use it in a conditioner. Again, you'd want to mix that. A lot of people have wrote on my last watercolor video, and they were like, oh, can I put the shampoo with my conditioner? Because I think some people just like to put it in their hair and walk around their house and not be bothered actually having to shampoo in the shower with it and sit there with, with it on their head. Um, and I, I never gave anybody an answer because I wasn't sure if that was okay, but now they have these base drops and you can literally put it in your conditioner and walk around your house with it. Um, if you don't want it as vibrant, if you want it more pastel-y, put it in your conditioner, do that. I mean, I am, I'm loving this. Um, so that's really it. I left it on for about three minutes. It said three to five minutes. Um, it's not gonna hurt. It's not gonna over-process your hair. It's not harming your hair. It's literally just depositing color and you could just put it in with your daily conditioner. So. I am so super excited about this. I am really excited about like what I can create when I can get back into the salon and start creating again. And I hope that you guys like this video. I hope that it helps you guys out. One more thing to say, um, if you're going to put this like straight on with your hands and you're not gonna wear gloves, make sure that you take off your jewelry. Um, that's really important. And also you kind of want to treat this as like a semi-permanent color that uh, won't lose its you know, potency when you mix it with something else. Uh, it's very similar to that. So just kind of treat it that way. You know, if you have a shirt, make sure you can get it off over your head or if you don't care if it gets ruined, um, you know, the usual when you do your hair. This stuff is strong as heck. So do, if you can get your hands on these and if you're at home and you just are like, I'm bored, I can't go to the salon, let's just have some fun. Um, they're not permanent, so they're not gonna be forever. They will wash it out. Um, something like this is very pigmented and I did it straight, so it'll take a little bit longer to wash out, but I'm excited to see the colors that it will transform into as it washes out. Or if I decide to keep it in, I can just continue to put it in my daily conditioner or whatever product I feel like putting in my hair, I could just put it in there and let it do its thing. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, I love this product. I think it was so, so fun to use, so easy to use. Don't forget to wear gloves. 
And that is about it. All right, guys, I love you and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, until next time, work hard, dream big, eat cake. Bye, guys.